the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports, including Union University, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Live from Lady Bruin Stadium, Ball Game Blitz Sports Network and Worthy Road Studios proudly present Lady Bruin Softball as the USJ Lady Bruins take on their rival Jackson Christian this afternoon in what should be an interesting matchup. And it is right now in the hub city of West Tennessee, 80 degrees with a southwest wind of about 10 miles an hour. Probably won't be much of a factor in today's game. And the humidity is considered to be ideal today, 25%. You won't see that in about a month. But it is going to be a very pleasant day for this matchup between the Lady Bruins and the Lady Eagles. And we'll be back to bring you the starting lineups for these teams right after these messages. Tired of going to the dealerships only to see empty spaces? Then come to Carlock Nissan of Jackson. We have over 60 new vehicles in stock and more coming in daily. You can see, feel, and of course smell that new car smell. Save up to $8,600 off MSRP on a new Nissan. Plus, special APR financing as low as 1.9%. It's all at Carlock Nissan of Jackson. You should already be here. Mention Ball Game Blitz Sports Network and receive a free gift. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime. And that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Carlac Prestige is not your typical used car dealer. We have everything from a Porsche to a, well, to this, and this, and lots more. We inspect and repair all our vehicles. Ask us to prove it. We will. Carlock Prestige, Van Drive, Jackson. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town, with another funeral home, or even in another state. But we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Fleet Feet, your locally owned source for the best shoes for school, work, running, and everyday comfort. They offer a 3D scan of your feet and professional fitting. Fleet Feet sells the top selling brands, Hoka, OnCloud, and Brooks. To add comfort to your spikes or other performance shoes, let Fleet Feet fit you for a pair of arch support inserts. Get the quality you want and the service you deserve at Fleet Feet in Jackson on Oral Well Road beside Walgreens. Dynamics Physical Therapy. We help our clients get back to doing what they love. Dynamics is now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. Are you looking to build a career? 
build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Turn to the experts. Since 1955, Garrett Plumbing and Heating has been the leader in plumbing, heating, and air conditioning service and installation for West Tennessee. A proud supporter of USJ Bruin Athletics, we are your local carrier factory authorized dealer. Call Garrett Plumbing and Heating, 668-3339, for all of your plumbing, heating, and air needs. For anyone contemplating pre-planning, we can tell you from our experience, it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime. And that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. And welcome back to Lady Bruin Softball Stadium. And it appears that we are still waiting on the umpires to arrive for this game. And I can see Joel Lairs down here below us, and you can as well, as he's on the phone, obviously, trying to be sure where they are and if they are on their way in this direction. While we do and while we wait, uh, let's give you the starting lineups for both of these teams for Jennifer Wheeler's visiting Jackson Christian Eagles batting first and playing shortstop is Kendall Turner. In the second spot is the center fielder Trinity Brooks. Batting third, third baseman Bailey Robinson. McKinley Arnold is in cleanup. She's the catcher. Maggie Richardson, the pitcher, will be hitting fifth. Sydney Julian, the first baseman, will be in the sixth spot. Batting seventh, Jenna Tinsley, the second baseman. The right fielder, Lily Barnes, will be batting eighth, and in the nine spot is Maggie Kaufman. She plays left field. And for Joel Ayers, USJ Lady Bruins. Halen Ayers will start off at shortstop. She'll be batting first, followed by Maddie Polk at center field. Abby Brown, the second baseman, will be batting third. E.K. Elrod, the pitcher, will be in the cleanup position. Taylor Shands, the first baseman, batting fifth and hitting sixth. L.K. Prater, she is the third baseman. And it is Eva Golden, the designated hitter. She'll be going seventh and hitting eighth. Lauren Raines, the catcher, and the left fielder. Mary Patton Redden, she will be in the nine spot. And the flex player is Kendall Keene. She will be playing right field, but not in the hitting lineup. 
And as we mentioned, this is always a good battle. I don't care what sport it is. When these two teams get together, you can imagine that it will be absolutely tooth and toenail in every single inning here. And, of course, we had a, a good one last night in baseball with the Bruins as they took on Sacred Heart and won it 6-1. to one. Chase Gardner went all the way and scattered seven hits and also struck out seven, only walked one against Sacred Heart. And it was a good night all the way across as the Bruins, whereas they only had seven hits in the game, they had 20 base runners because they had – Six walks and seven players hit by pitch balls. So you get 20 men on base, and you're pretty certain to be able to get some runs across, and they indeed did, a 6-1 to victory over Sacred Heart. And this reminds me of a mild bit of one I called last year in which we had to wait a significant amount of time because the umpires who had been confirmed earlier in the day apparently thought it was going to be at another location, and they had to get an umpire to come in from Humboldt to do the game, and it went with a single umpire calling everything, and that's what happens. One of the tough spots that you have, and there have been a number of newspaper stories as well as TV stories about this, is that we are more and more having a shortage of officials in every sport. Uh, a lot of younger people are not wanting to get into it at the level that people did even 10 years ago. And, and some of it is not certainly where we're concerned here, but in some locations uh, there has been concern over fan behavior becoming a problem and officials not wanting to put up with that anymore. And, but just the mere fact that the supply – and it's almost like what we've seen with products after COVID. The supply chain has been very, very difficult in getting some things that a lot of us really need and appreciate on the shelves. And it also creates a, a similar problem when it comes to officiating. And as older people who are doing this decide to retire or get out of it, they're not being replaced with the volume of people that have been in it previously so you really scramble to be able to find officials that it can fit into their schedules because all of those guys and and ladies who do this they have other jobs that they are working and so uh, we have not seen them appear and as I mentioned Joel Ayers has been on the phone to try to confirm uh, where they might happen to be and usually these things are scheduled uh, in advance uh, sometimes days or, or weeks in advance, but uh, it can create a problem sometimes. And so that's what we are waiting on here uh, to see what happens uh, along the way. We're going to be back with you again on Thursday for another baseball game, and we're looking forward to that. And so for all of you, let me mention that if you want to see any of the previous Lady Bruin games or Bruin games, then all you got to do is go to the YouTube page for Worthy Road Studios and also to the Facebook page of Worthy Road Studios and Ball Game Blitz. You go there and you can see them all and enjoy them all because I know there are a lot of you that perhaps maybe have uh, grandchildren or you've got nieces. Yeah, particularly with us doing a, a girls' softball game today, you have nieces and you might have cousins. Uh, there may be plenty of friends of these young women that uh, you want to be able to see what they do. Well, we provide that for you, and it's a wonderful joy on our part to be able to bring you this on our streaming network, the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network, powered by Worthy Road Studios. And so we look forward to that and. I must tell you, it, this network is all over the place. I can't even begin to tell you the number lo of locales that they have carried sports from, as well as other events, such as, uh, you know, school plays and musicals. And, and one tonight is coming up right here at USJ. And so uh, you can – and what time is that? Paul Schultz is right here. 5:30. At 5.30. Now, we don't want you to go away from the softball game. But if you're interested, at 5.30, you know, get a second computer. Get another phone out by you. And, and you can go into the Worthy Road Studios YouTube page, and you'll have an opportunity to see 
a, a marvelous musical right here at USJ. There's so many things that are going on on this campus, and they are live right now. Uh, and so, uh, you know, f for everything that is going on here, and we mentioned last night about the fact that the arts, just such tremendous music, theater, uh, and conventional art, it's all over USJ, and they do such a brilliant job of being able to expand the horizons of these young people who participate in all of these. And so we salute them for that. Uh, of course, this school has tremendously high academics, and we had Senior Appreciation, Appreciation Day yesterday for the Bruins, and eight seniors were recognized and it was really a, it's an emotional day for the parents because it's their opportunity the players giving their moms a, a long stemmed rose but also all of the practices that they've been to from the time that they were little guys and then climaxing their high school careers by this kind of recognition and any of you who have had children or grandchildren who have played in high school sports, you know how emotional it is when they are coming to the twilight of their careers and eight Bruins recognized yesterday for that. And we salute their parents for all the support that they have given them from the time they decided to pick up a ball, a bat, or whatever sport it is. Uh, it is just a real joy to see their accomplishments now as they prepare to go on to college and some of them may be playing a sport and others of them may be just going on for the academic career and degree. But you know from the graduates of this university that they will come back as adults and be leaders, whether it's in the Jackson community or anywhere else they are because of all of the training that they have had. And it's rooted right here at the University School of Jackson. Well, let's take another break, and we'll come back, and hopefully we'll have some umpires who have appeared, and we've got a multitude of phones that are calling out right now to be certain uh, that they've got some guys on the way. So let's take another break for you to see some of our fine sponsors. We'll talk about them when we come back after these messages. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choice that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at three-way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre-owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in three-way. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's. At the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Home furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options too, with professional advice. Major appliances from America's top name brands. 
mattresses, and bedding accessories, outdoor living and grilling too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime, and that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Tired of going to the dealerships only to see empty spaces? Then come to Carlock Nissan of Jackson. We have over 60 new vehicles in stock and more coming in daily. You can see, feel, and of course smell that new car smell. Save up to $8,600 off MSRP on a new Nissan. Plus, special APR financing as low as 1.9%. It's all at Carlock Nissan of Jackson. You should already be here. Mention Ball Game Blitz Sports Network and receive a free gift. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime. And that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Carlock Prestige is not your typical used car dealer. We have everything from a Porsche to a, well, to this, and this, 
and lots more. We inspect and repair all our vehicles. Ask us to prove it. We will. Carlock Prestige, Van Drive, Jackson. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town, with another funeral home, or even in another state. But we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Fleet Feet, your locally owned source for the best shoes for school, work, running, and everyday comfort. They offer a 3D scan of your feet and professional fitting. Fleet Feet sells the top selling brands, Hoka, OnCloud, and Brooks. To add comfort to your spikes or other performance shoes, let Fleet Feet fit you for a pair of arch support inserts. Get the quality you want and the service you deserve at Fleet Feet in Jackson on Oil Well Road beside Walgreens. Dynamics Physical Therapy. We help our clients get back to doing what they love. Dynamics is now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Turn to the experts. Since 1955, Garrett Plumbing and Heating has been the leader in plumbing, heating, and air conditioning service and installation for West Tennessee. A proud supporter of USJ Bruin Athletics, we are your local carrier factory authorized dealer. Call Garrett Plumbing and Heating, 668-3339, for all of your plumbing, heating, and air needs. For anyone contemplating pre-planning, we can tell you from our experience, it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime. And that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. 
and get back out there. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choices that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. Well, Steve Beverly back with you from Lady Bruins Softball Stadium, and we were scheduled to have the first pitch 24 minutes ago, but uh, it has not happened, and as will occur, as we mentioned when we broke in last, uh, we're still waiting on officials to arrive, and we got the word about 10 minutes ago that we will have officials here probably within the next 10 minutes. Uh, it is one of those crazy things that happens, even if you have them scheduled. Uh, there are mix-ups in the schedules, and apparently the officials who were scheduled to do this game, uh, they have not been able to be located, so they have detoured a couple of officials who were scheduled to call a game between Liberty and Madison, and that game was canceled. So they are bringing them over here, and that's just a little bit of a crosstown drive to get here to North Jackson for this one. So that is why we are still waiting on this one. And, and you've got to know, this is tough on the players because they are mentally scheduled for that 5 o'clock first pitch, and they've taken their warm-ups in the infield, and they've taken batting practice, and they are, you know, they're ready to go. And I guarantee you they will be ready to go right now. And the, the problem is just having to sit and wait. It's, I don't know if it's not worse than having a, a rain delay is going through something like this. But we should be starting. I'm going to estimate that we'll have the first pitch somewhere around 540. Uh, but let me mention to you that if you would like to go over to, if you're on USJ's uh, website, you can also go elsewhere on the website, and you can check in on all the action of USJ Track right now. They are live here just about eh, probably a half a block away from where I'm at, and there's a big crowd over there looking at today's track meet. So go over there and check that out while you're waiting on us to start here. Uh, let me also remind you that among our fine sponsors, and you've seen a lot of them already here while we've been waiting to start this afternoon, Red Hook Seafood is one of our sponsors. And let me tell you, if you will go by there and mention Worthy Road Studios or Ball Game Blitz Sports Network, if you'll mention that to the people there, they got a free gift waiting for you. Now, I don't know about you, but I never turn down a free gift. For me, it's just... It's an exclamation point when I go somewhere and they say, well, we'll give you a free gift. If there's, and there's no catch to it. All you got to do is just say, Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Tell them that, and you're going to get a free gift from the good folks at Red Hook. And if you don't think that seafood is some good ain't be, there has never been any as good as you have putting that seafood in your mouth. It is absolute, and I am a big seafood fan myself. So be sure and go by there and... Tell them. In fact, go by all of our fine sponsors when you have the opportunity. And if you appreciate that, and we hope you do, uh, tell them how much you appreciate Ball Game Blitz Sports Network and Worthy Road Studios bringing you all the action of multiple sports right here at University School of Jackson. Well, we are, as we mentioned also, at 6 o'clock tonight. You can go to the USJ Facebook page, and you'll see... The School Musical, and it is a dandy, and I know you're going to enjoy that. We'll also remind you that uh, for those of you who might be Union University fans, uh, there's both softball and baseball that will be pitching at 6 o'clock. And so for those of you who are fans of the Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs, have that available to you, and you can go to uuathletics.com 
and be able to see that. And there will be a link there for you to go to the live video streaming. And I know you'll enjoy those. I'll recap who our starting lineups are for you just in case we see the officials come in very quickly. For Jackson Christian, coached by Jennifer Wheeler, leading off and playing shortstop is Kendall Turner. In center field, batting second, Trinity Brooks. Hitting third, the third baseman, Bailey Robinson. McKinley Arnold is the catcher, and she's in the cleanup spot. The pitcher, Maggie Richardson, is hitting fifth. Sydney Julian, the first base, is in the sixth spot. Number seven is Jenna Tinsley. She's the second baseman. Hitting eighth is Lily Barnes, the right fielder. And the left fielder, Maggie Kaufman, will be batting in the nine spot. Now, for USJ, and you're beginning to see the Lady Bruins take to the field now, and I think they're going to get just a little more warm-up in before these officials get here. For the Lady Bruins, leading off and playing shortstop is the eighth grader who is, uh, she is a, a marvel on the athletic field in both basketball and here in softball, and that is Halen Ayers. Batting second, Maddie Polk, she's the center fielder. And in the three spot is Abby Brown, the second baseman. The pitcher, E.K. Elrod, will be in the cleanup position. And batting fifth and playing first base is Taylor Shans. Hitting sixth is L.K. Prater. She'll play third base. The designated hitter is Eva Golden, and she is in the sixth spot, in the seventh spot. Batting eighth is Lauren Raines. She is the catcher. And the left fielder, Mary Patton Redden, is batting ninth. And the flex player is Kendall Keene. She'll be in right field. She won't be in the hitting lineup, at least as we start the game. And Lady Bruins going back out and just getting a little more warm-up before this starts. And I'm beginning to see a few of the Lady Eagles. They're in their blue, and the Lady Bruins are in the black uniforms. And they're all trying to see if they can recreate what they did about, to be honest with you, I'm looking at my watch right now, 531. They're going to try to recreate what they did about an hour ago. And uh, when we got over here about 415, they were all in this same position just trying to get loosened up. Well, they got to do it all again. And we are going to be approximately 40 minutes late starting this one because of the difficulty in coordinating with officials to get here, but they will be here. As I say, this isn't the first time I've been through this. I went through this same chapter and verse actually in calling uh, a Jackson Christian game last year in which because of confusion over what day the officials were supposed to be there uh, on the specific date, they ended up having to call in an alternate official from Humboldt and who came in, had to drive in on almost no notice and had to call the game as a single official. We were an hour and 15 minutes late getting that one started. So the players for both teams are trying to get loosened up once again. And I'll remind you that we'll be back with another baseball game on Thursday evening and that'll be uh, again, I, I have enjoyed immensely being the voice of USJ Sports for basketball and for the spring sports this year. It's just been a real joy on my part. And we look forward to every opportunity we have to be on this beautiful campus. It is one that, as I've mentioned again, in addition to the faculty and staff and administration of this institution, the support both financially and emotionally from the parents of these young people, it's unmatched. You just see in every way. And all you have to do to figure that out is just look at the facilities here, the gymnasium, as well as the classroom in, in all of the school, the academic facilities. But just look at this softball field is in an immaculate condition in the same way as Overton Stadium where the Bruins play baseball, the football field, soccer, track, everything here. And it, it takes a team effort from all of those who are a part of this institution and the parents are all a part of that team and we salute each and every one of them and in some instances it's grandparents as well because 
Uh, I love when I drive up and I get up into the stands and I see there are some grandparents, some of whom I'm familiar with. And I'm always delighted to be able to greet those who have an extremely vested interest because they've got a loved one that is out here on the field. And that's true for both of these fine institutions that are going to be swinging away against each other, and we think that will probably happen in the next six to seven minutes if the officials get here from across town. And it may be late, but we will still have a fine afternoon. And if we get started by 545, they've still got a chance because softball just moves so much faster than baseball does. They've still got a chance to get this thing in before sunset. And you can see that all of these players, they're ready to go right now. They were an hour ago, and that's just one of those things that you learn when you are part of high school sports today is that it can happen and that you may have to pivot just a little bit because of a situation like this. But the officials will get in here, and hopefully we will – be able to get this cranked up. As we mentioned to you, the temperature this afternoon is absolutely perfect. It's even a little warmer than it was yesterday. It was 71 degrees when we cranked up yesterday. Right now it is 79 in the Hub City, and that wind is continuing to blow out of the south-southwest, and it's going at about 10 miles an hour. But the humidity, and, and this is the thing that we love so much about it this afternoon, the humidity is considered to be absolutely ideal playing conditions because we are right at 25% with a relative humidity. And, I mean, you're not going to be out there and just roasting. Uh, it's just perfect temperature for a late afternoon softball game. And the wind is probably not going to be a factor, in a, even though it's at about 10 to 11 miles an hour. It's probably not going to be a big factor for fly balls that go deep uh, because some of it is beginning to actually blow back in toward us. Uh, and the, uh, the flag that's out in left center field, you can see it whipping a significant bit. But I must tell you, the season has just zipped by in spring sports for us here. It seems like it was yesterday when we were doing our first game in early March uh, after basketball season ended for the Bruins and Lady Bruins, and it was so much fun being able to call those games this year. You, you just you cannot help but feel blessed to – for me to be a broadcaster on a team that has an athlete like Halen Ayers and then Ava Barham at the post and the way their teamwork was, the guards on Joel Ayers' team, they were just outstanding. And it was a real joy to be able to see some of them and some that will be going on definitely uh, down the road into college careers. There's no question about that whatsoever. Bring you a quick bit of an update. We have uh, been following, of course, many of you know that two weeks from tonight will be election night in Madison County, actually in the city of Jackson, to be elections for mayor of Jackson and for city council. And we have been following day to day the early vote total. Today, 298 people voted at the UT Extension Auditorium. And that brings the early vote count now to 1,703 since it all started late last week. So that's where we are, nearly 300 today, 298 voting. And you can still do that the remainder of this week, and you can do it all next week uh, at the UT Extension Auditorium on North Parkway. And all you got to do is to be registered, and you can go in and cast your ballot for mayor or for your city council district and 1700 have already gotten that out of the way and i'll be joining steve bowers for election coverage locally on e plus tv6 on the night of may the 2nd and we hope that many of you who follow politics in this area will join us for that 
Well, the players have gone back into the dugout. And they're clearing out behind us here. And so hopefully we're not far away from getting this thing underway. And if you ever wonder, have I had to do this before? Yes, I've had to do this kind of thing many times before. Uh, I can tell you it happened once many years ago doing in the 1970s in a high school basketball game in which the officials were sent to the wrong location and they had to drive 20 miles to get back. <laughs> they had to drive 20 miles to be able to get back to <laughs> where they were supposed to be. And in that situation, uh, you know, this was in the days way before streaming, and I was doing it on radio. And you just had to ad lib anything that you possibly could. I dragged all the coaches from both teams up to have some very brief interviews. And as I say, we're between about 45 minutes an hour late starting that game. And the thing that happened in that case that was interesting is that in Georgia, you had a curfew. I, that's where I grew up. And in Georgia, you had a curfew that on a school night, the game, whatever you're playing, if it was a night game, and most of the time it was basketball, if it was a school night, it had to be over by 10 o'clock. Didn't matter where you were in the game, if it was in the middle of an overtime, whatever, it had to end at 10 o'clock. And this one was between two very heated crosstown rivals. And it was 75-75 in the second overtime. And just as one of the players was about to release a shot that went in. Now, it, the overtime still had about a minute and a half left to go, but he released a shot that went in, but the officials, by virtue, and one of them had what was considered to be the official watch, the, one of the officials said, no basket, game over, ended in a 75-75 tie. And if you want to know any more frustrated people that left the stadium and left a, an arena that night than the fans of both teams, and they left there just jawing away about how it shouldn't have been that way. You know, they, there's no way it should be like that. Well, that's the rules, and uh, I don't know if they've changed that there or not. And what they did is if it was a weekend night, if it was a Friday or a Saturday night, it had to end by 10.30. Uh, even though you rarely had a game that would go that late. But they, they made sure that it was 10.30 in that case. So we continue to wait, and we will see what happens. So, Paul, I tell you what, let's take another break. And as we've said twice before, maybe by that time we'll have some officials. So stay with us, everybody, as we await the start of USJ against Jackson Christian. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years, the Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee.
The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's. At the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Home furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options too with professional advice. Major appliances from America's top name brands. Mattresses and bedding accessories. Outdoor living and grilling too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's for your life. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime, and that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Tired of going to the dealerships only to see empty spaces? Then come to Carlock Nissan of Jackson. We have over 60 new vehicles in stock and more coming in daily. You can see, feel, and of course smell that new car smell. Save up to $8,600 off MSRP on a new Nissan. Plus, special APR financing as low as 1.9%. It's all at Carlock Nissan of Jackson. You should already be here. Mention Ball Game Blitz Sports Network and receive a free gift. Ready 
for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime. And that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Carlac Prestige is not your typical used car dealer. We have everything from a Porsche to a, well, to this, and this, and lots more. We inspect and repair all our vehicles. Ask us to prove it. We will. Carlock Prestige, Van Drive, Jackson. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town, with another funeral home, or even in another state. But we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Fleet Feet, your locally owned source for the best shoes for school, work, running, and everyday comfort. They offer a 3D scan of your feet and professional fitting. Fleet Feet sells the top selling brands Hoka, OnCloud, and Brooks. To add comfort to your spikes or other performance shoes, let Fleet Feet fit you for a pair of arch support inserts. Get the quality you want and the service you deserve at Fleet Feet in Jackson on Oral Well Road beside Walgreens. Dynamics Physical Therapy. We help our clients get back to doing what they love. Dynamics is now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Turn to the experts. Since 1955, Garrett Plumbing and Heating has been the leader in plumbing, heating, and air conditioning service and installation for West Tennessee. A proud supporter of USJ Bruin Athletics, we are your local carrier factory authorized dealer. Call Garrett Plumbing and Heating, 668-3339, for all of your plumbing, heating, and air needs. For anyone contemplating pre-planning, we can tell you from our experience, it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime. And that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. 
call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choice that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. I think we're about ready for softball. We've had our two umpires who have been diverted from another game that was canceled. And so I believe we'll have the first pitch right about 6 o'clock, if not a couple of minutes early. And they're going over the ground rules with Joel Ayers and Jennifer Wheeler. And I think we are about set to go. Temperatures dropped to about 78 degrees, and the wind has died down to about 8 miles an hour going out of the southwest. But again, very low humidity, not quite as low as yesterday. That was probably the driest air that I think I've ever been around for a baseball game. 19% humidity. We're at 25% this afternoon. And that's still extremely dry. And I know these players are ready to get this one underway because uh, they, were, they were ready to go at the scheduled 5 o'clock start time, and so here we go. And we salute these two gentlemen. We are inclined to believe they were not the two officials who were scheduled to call this game, and they were just moved here from another location. So on the mound for USJ, it'll be E.K. Elrod, and she'll be facing... The shortstop, Kendall Turner, center fielder, Trinity Brooks, and the third baseman, Bailey Robinson. They'll be the first three that she will place, face for Jackson Christian. I'm Steve Beverly, and we have tried to keep you updated while we have had what has been the equivalent of a rain delay. I don't know. You can't call this one a dry delay, uh, but we were just waiting on officials who could come here and call this one, and thankfully we've got two. So they're going to get right into this one, and Kendall Turner is at the plate. And the infield is playing in against Kendall. And the wind and the pitch and a fly ball that's bending foul and going off of the glove of the left fielder. So she'll come back in. That just turns out to be a long strike.
Well, if they get this thing going really fast, they may be able to get it in by sunset. And that one's in there for strike two call. No balls and two strikes. And the 0-2 pitch to Turner. And Elrod delivers, and it's fouled back against the screen. Last night during the baseball game, we actually speared one in the press box that was fouled back and bounced from the stands right into the window and in our hands. And that one's fouled into the right screen. So still no balls and two strikes. Turner hanging tough. And the wind and the pitch. And that one's popped straight up. The catcher underneath it and takes it for out number one. So good job of staying on top of that one by Lauren Raines. And here's Trinity Brooks, who's always dangerous. Watched her a lot last season, and, and she's showing bunt. And she tries to go for it, and the official says ball low, so it's 1-0. Nobody on. We're just underway here at Lady Bruins Softball Stadium. And the pitch. And the bunt goes foul. She was trying to, if it's a drag bunt, you're going down the first baseline, but she was trying to, if you will, drag it down the third baseline, and that is why everybody is playing up. Second baseman is playing way, way up, almost (laughs) <laughs> she only has about four or five steps to get to the pitcher's mound. And here comes the 0-2. And that one is a liner right to the center fielder for out number two. Maddie Polk playing her perfectly on that one. And so we've got two down. And that brings up Bailey Robinson, the third baseman. Well, I mentioned to you they were in a hurry to get this one going. And... The Lady Bruins are in a hurry to get this first half inning over with. And that one's on the corner for strike one call. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network powered by Worthy Road Studios bringing you the action of USJ against Jackson Christian. And that one in there again for strike two. No balls, two strikes with two out and nobody on. And Elrod getting set to deliver the 0-2. And the wine, and that one's a lazy fly ball, and the left fielder is under it and takes it for out number three. Good job on that one by Mary Patton Redden. So, first inning, three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. And at the end of a half inning, it is the Lady Eagles nothing, and the Lady Bruins just now coming to bat. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's. At the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Home furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options too with professional advice. Major appliances from America's top name brands. Mattresses and bedding accessories. Outdoor living and grilling too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's for your life. Maggie Richardson on the mound for the Lady Eagles, and it's Halen Ayers standing in, the shortstop, leading off for the Lady Bruins. And here's the first pitch, and she's going to try to bunt her way on. She's very fast, and she beat the throw. That's just what you call that light bunt and give her an infield hint on that, and all Halen needs to do is get on base, and she's a threat to go anywhere. And that brings up Maddie Polk, the center fielder. And you can expect Halen will get a lead. And the pitch. And that one goes into left field for a base hit. And we've got runners at first and second. 
So starting right out, two pitches, two hits. Abby Brown, the second baseman, with runners on first and second and nobody out. E.K. Elrod, the pitcher, will be next. So Lady Bruins, two quick pitches, two hits. And the runners are going to try to advance on that one, and they get back in place. Ball and no strikes. Okay, no balls and one strike. And the pitch to Brown. And she went around on that one. No balls and two strikes. And I got to tell you, this looks like this looks like six girls going through a maze the way they are crowding the plate, trying to move in and get any kind of a bunt that may happen. And that one is going to be, it's going to stay fair, and she is out for out number one. But the runners advance to second and third. Here's E.K. Elrod. So the runners advance on a fielder's choice, and here comes E.K., the pitcher, against her counterpart, Maggie Richardson. And the wind of the pitch, and that one's fouled back to the screen. No balls and a strike. Lady Bruins with runners in scoring position want to capitalize and get off to an early lead. Got some shadows beginning to affect the infield. And went around on that one for strike two. Taylor Shands, the first baseman, will be up next. She's on deck. And the wind and the pitch. That's high for ball one. Ball and two strikes. They've got a big gap in left center field if she could knock one out there. And that one is going to be a slow roller, and they're going to the plate. No way they're going to get it. And they're going into third, and she's safe. So E.K. manages to get herself uh, an infield hit. And that brings in Halen Ayers with the first run of the game. Maddie Polk heads up base running, gets over to third. So we've got runners on the corners for Taylor Shands. And the first baseman batting right-handed. And the pitch. That's outside going to second, and they've got her in a rundown. And now they're going to decide whether they're going to go back to third. And she made it back in, and so there was indecision. They probably would have had the runner going to second, but indecision on that one allows Maddie to get back to third, and, and that's inside for ball two. So you got runners in scoring position, and that one's going to be out of play. Two balls and a strike with one out. Lady Bruins have got one in, trying to add to it here in the first inning. L.K. Prater will be next, and that one's inside. Ball three, three balls and a strike. She gets on. Bases will be jammed for Prater. And the wind and the pitch. And that is a high pop fly, and the second baseman is under it, so nobody can advance. Jenna Tinsley snags that one, and that brings up L.K. Prater, the third baseman, still with runners on second and third, and now two out. Lady Bruins have had three hits so far, and that one's a little high for ball one. There's more of a gap now in left center field. And she fouls that one off into the screen. Ball on a strike with two out. And in case you're wondering why we are only in the first inning, it's, as we mentioned about an hour ago, 
It was a miscommunication with officials. Is that strike two? And so they had to shuttle some different officials that were not scheduled to call this game in here. And so we were 58 minutes late starting. And the pitch right down in there for call strike three. That's the first strikeout of the game for Richardson. But the Lady Bruins picked up one run on three hits, no errors, and they had two girls left on base. So the score at the end of an inning of play, it is USJ 1, Jackson Christian, nothing. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. McKinley Arnold steps into the plate to open up the top half of the second for Jackson Christian. And EK pitches, and it's a bit outside for ball one. She got them all down in order in the first inning of play and was staked to a 1-0 lead in the first inning. And she held off on that one, two balls and no strikes. Those shadows are going to be a little bit more difficult to navigate as we get closer to sunset. And that one hit the corner for strike one, two balls and a strike to Arnold. Maggie Richardson, the pitcher, will be next, followed by Sidney Julian, the first baseman. And the wine and the pitch. And got it on the outside corner for strike two. So it's even up at two balls and two strikes with nobody out. And you can tell EK has her stuff this afternoon. The wind and the pitch, and it's a straight up in the air fly ball. Shortstop under it and takes it for out number one. And that was just Halen Ayers just have total concentration on the ball and snagged it in. So... Four up, four down for Jackson Christian, and showing bunt is Maggie Richardson, the pitcher. And the wind and the pitch, but that was a bluff because she was hitting away, and it went down the third base line foul. No balls and a strike. And Elrod delivers the 0-1. And that's foul back to the screen and over the screen into the parking lot. No balls and two strikes. And she's working very quickly in this one. And EK with the wind. Just missed. One ball and two strikes. Oh, that had to have been centimeters that she missed that one. And the one, two, and that one's fouled back once again, almost into the same place. So we'll spin the wheel again with one ball and two strikes. Infield playing at normal depth, third baseman playing up a bit. And the wind, and that one's fouled off yet again. So still a ball and two strikes. She's gotten everybody out on flyout so far. And the one, two. And there, caught her looking for a strike three. That's the first strikeout for E.K. Elrod, and that brings up Sidney Julian, the first baseman. 
So five up, five down for the Lady Eagles. And Julian is there. Jenna Tinsley, the second baseman, would be next if she gets on. And the wind and the pitch. And that one tapped foul down the first baseline. Taylor Shans whips it back in to E.K. No balls and a strike in the pitch. And she went around on that one. 0-2 to Julian. And here we go. And that one's tap foul back to the screen. Still an 0-2 count. Outfield playing at normal depth. And the line and the pitch just inside. One ball and two strikes. All right, EK gets the sign she wants, and she delivers. And that one is going into center field for a base hit. So wipe off your no-hitter, but Julian waited on the pitch she wanted and singled into center field. And that brings up the second baseman, Jenna Tinsley. And it will be interesting to see if Jennifer Wheeler will send Julian Taking her time, and here's the pitch. And she went around on that one for strike one. And the outfield has moved in just a bit. And the pitch, and there's one that is going to the left fielder, and it just drops in in front of her for another base hit. So they have a threat going with two consecutive singles. And that brings up the right fielder, Lily Barnes. And the left-hander, no, she's going to move over to the right-hand side of the plate. And the infield is playing in once again. And that's a strike on the outside corner. No balls and a strike. With two on and two out. And the wind and the pitch. And she went around on that one. The runner thought about trying to make a move to third, but they chased her back. So we've got no balls, two strikes, two on and two out. And the pitch. And she struck her out. That's her second strikeout of the game. So, for the Lady Eagles, it was no runs on two hits, no errors, and two girls left on base. So, the score at the end of an inning and a half, it's still the Lady Bruins one and the Lady Eagles nothing. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. I shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. It's the bottom of the order for the Lady Bruins. Eva Golden 
The DP, if this was baseball, she'd be the designated hitter, and she was showing bunt, and it was fouled away. No balls and a strike. She'll be followed by the catcher, Lauren Reigns, and the left fielder, Mary Patton Redden. Lady Bruins picked up three hits in the first inning, could only get one across the plate. And that one a little high, one ball and one strike. And the infield is playing slightly in, particularly the third baseman. And the pitch, and that one's fouled off into the parking area on the grass. One ball and two strikes. And nobody out, nobody on. And Maggie Richardson steps back in, gets ready to deliver the one-two. And that one is going up the middle, and the second baseman picks it up, fires on to first, and they got her by a step, just by about a half step. Patient on that one for Jenna Tinsley as she threw out to first. And that brings up Lauren Raines, the catcher, with one down here in the second. And the infield playing at normal depth now. And that one inside for a ball. And Lauren gets around on that one for strike one. As we say, these two teams, intense rivals, but a lot of the players, they know each other. Two balls and a strike. And Richardson, who gave up the run in the first inning, and she went around on that one. Two balls and two strikes. That one was a bit low and away, but she couldn't make contact with it. And Richardson steps back in for the 2-2. And that one is going to be a slow roller to the second baseman who just tosses it gently over to first. And that is out number two. And that brings up the left fielder, Mary Patton Redden. So two ground outs to second on to first. And let's see if MP can do something here. And that one tapped off the lower portion of the bat. No balls and a strike. And the wind and the 0-1. And that one's a bit inside. A ball and a strike. That sun is particularly out in right field Pretty glaring in the eyes of the, and that one's a, that's going to be a record tied by many. As once again, it went to the second baseman, Jenna Tinsley, on to first, and that's what all three of them were, were second to first. It was no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. So we've completed two. It's a one nothing lead for the Lady Bruins. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime. And that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians.
Number nine hitter, Maggie Kaufman, the left hit, uh, left fielder, will go up against E.K. Elrod to start the third, and that one's in there for strike one call. She'll be followed by the top of the order, Kendall Turner, the shortstop, and the center fielder, Trinity Brooks. And the wind of the pitch, and that one is going right to the first baseman for out number one. So she was playing in the right spot, and Taylor Shan snags that one to bring up Kendall Turner, who flied out to the catcher her first time up. And the wind, and that one's just a bit outside for ball one. Again, just an absolutely perfect day for baseball. Got a few lower clouds in the sky, but... Nothing that's going to affect this one. It's just a perfect day. And that one is a foul that goes on our roof. We were hoping it would go through the open windows in here and we'd have a chance to get the net out once again, but it didn't happen. Ball and a strike. And the pitch. And that's right to the second baseman. So these short little infield liners have... Taking the measure of two, and here comes Trinity Brooks, who's always a threat. Center fielder, she flied out to center field her first time up. So far, E.K. Elrod has scattered two hits. She has struck out two. And the wine. And trying to show bunt. A little low. One ball and no strikes. Trinity is another one of these that if she can drag it down the first base line, she has every chance of beating it out. And the wind of the pitch, and she goes down the third base line. Heads up play on to first for out number three. Excellent job by L.K. Prater getting right on top of that one. So it's five to three, and it was, again, no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. At the end of two and a half, Lady Bruins still on top, one to nothing. Tired of going to the dealerships only to see empty spaces? Then come to Carlock Nissan of Jackson. We have over 60 new vehicles in stock and more coming in daily. You can see, feel, and of course smell that new car smell. Save up to $8,600 off MSRP on a new Nissan. Plus, special APR financing as low as 1.9%. It's all at Carlock Nissan of Jackson. You should already be here. Mention Ball Game Blitz Sports Network and receive a free gift. Uh, Halen Ayers got things started for the Lady Bruins in the first inning, and she has scored the only run. She got on on a bunt single in the first, and she's once again facing Maggie Richardson with the Lady Bruins on top, one to nothing. And the pitch, and that one is going to be a two-hopper to the shortstop, and she easily beats that one out. That one was just too slow of a roller to be able to knock out Halen Air. She was already flying down the line, so give her another infield hit. And that's the fourth hit of the game for the Lady Bruins, and here comes Maggie Polk, who had a single. And the wine, and Halen thought about taking off, but thought better of it. No balls in the strike, and Halen Ayer is on first. And we are in the bottom of the third, and that one is a high, lazy fly ball. Halen's going to have to go back to first. Center fielder takes it for out number one. Just didn't get a lot of depth on that one, and so here comes Abby Brown. And she grounded out to the pitcher her first time up. So 
Halenair is still on first, and she's taking off this time, and that one's straight up. And the pitcher calls for it and takes it, so Richardson snags that one for out number two. Halen was, shall we say, she was going like one of the planes at McKellar Sipes to get down to second, but she has to get all the way back now. Here's A.K. Elrod. She had a run-scoring single to help her own cause in the first inning. And the pitch in that one is out of play. No balls and a strike. And this game is just whipping along. We've been at it only 29 minutes, and we are getting close to the end of the third. And Halen's taking off, and that one is going to be out of play. No balls and two strikes. Halen is getting her sprint practice on these foul balls. So EK faces an 0-2 count, and Halen will definitely be moving on this pitch. And it was a strike right there through the end of it, and out number three. So for the Lady Bruins, it was no runs on one hit, no errors, and one girl left on base. And so the score at the end of three innings of play, it is still Lady Eagles Zero and the Lady Bruins won. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime. And that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Carlac Prestige is not your typical used car dealer. We have everything from a Porsche to a, well, to this, and this, and lots more. We inspect and repair all our vehicles. Ask us to prove it. We will. Carlock Prestige, Van Drive, Jackson. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town, with another funeral home, or even in another state. But we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Bailey Robinson, the third baseman, stands in to go against E.K. Elrod. Here as we start inning number four. That one a little bit high and outside for ball one. No runs on two hits for the Lady Eagles. The Lady Bruins, one run on four hits. And the wind and the pitch. And she fouled that one back to the bottom of the screen, so it's a ball and a strike. As we say, th this is almost like you, you, they're shuttling through these innings faster than you get through the checkout at Walmart. And that's a high fly ball going foul and out of play. And that one is about to go under somebody's car, and uh, it finally rolls out away from it, so they're going to retrieve it. Ball and two strikes, and that one is going to be easily taken by the third baseman for out number one. McKinley Arnold, the catcher, she flied out to the shortstop her first time up. The two hits for the Lady Eagles came in the second, but no damage done. And so far, E.K. Elrod has struck out two, and that one goes back to the screen. And third baseman is playing in rather tight. And first baseman is playing parallel to the bag. But just in case she decides to bump one. And that one is, that's going to be lined out into left field for a base hit. So the pitcher, Maggie Richardson, will now try to help her own cause. Maggie was called out on strikes her first time up in the second inning. And she's up now with a runner on first and one out. And shortstop and second baseman playing at double play depth. 
And that one's in there on the outside corner for a strike. No balls and a strike. Lady Bruins will have the five, six, and seven hitters up when they come in for the bottom of the fourth. And that one is going to Ben Foul. And Halen Ayers dashes over to retrieve it. So a quick no ball and two strike count on Maggie Richardson. Sydney Julian, the first baseman, will be next. And the pitch. And right to Halen Ayers, and she fires the first. It's a double play. Heads up play by Halen. You saw a little, uh, I, you can't say you saw a little white. You saw a little neon green in her glove, but she got rid of it quickly, went to first, and nailed the double play. So it was no runs on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. And your score at the end of three and a half. It is the Lady Bruins won, the Lady Eagles nothing. Fleet Feet, your locally owned source for the best shoes for school, work, running, and everyday comfort. They offer a 3D scan of your feet and professional fitting. Fleet Feet sells the top selling brands, Hoka, OnCloud, and Brooks. To add comfort to your spikes or other performance shoes, let Fleet Feet fit you for a pair of arch support inserts. Get the quality you want and the service you deserve at Fleet Feet in Jackson on Oil Well Road beside Walgreens. Dynamics Physical Therapy. We help our clients get back to doing what they love. Dynamics is now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Excellent pitching duel so far between Richardson and Elrod. The Lady Bruins, one run on four hits, and the Lady Eagles, no runs on three hits. And each pitcher has struck out two. And standing in here in the bottom of the fourth is Taylor Shans, the first baseman. She flied out to the second baseman her first time up. She'll be followed by L.K. Prater and Eva Golden. And here comes Richardson's first pitch. And that one is a high foul fly back behind us here, and so no ball, one strike count. If Shans can straighten that one out, that one could be danger, particularly in the gap between left and center field. And that one's on the inside corner, no balls and two strikes. And the wind and the pitch, and got her. Went around on it. That's the third strikeout now for Maggie Richardson, and it brings up L.K. Prater. She was caught looking in the first inning. And the D.P. Eva Golden will follow her. And she steps out of the batter's box and now decides to go back in. One away here in the bottom half of the fourth, and she went around on that one. Good slider. No balls and a strike, and nobody on. And the pitch to Prater. And low for a ball. One ball, one strike. Lady Bruins sent six to the plate in the first inning. And that one is just a bit high. Two balls and a strike. Neither pitcher has walked anybody in the game so far. And the pitch. And that one is going to drop into center field for a base hit. So Prater tries to start something going here with a base hit into shallow center field, and that brings up Eva Golden, our designated hitter. And Lauren Raines, the catcher, would be next. 
Eva started that second inning in which everybody grounded out second to first, and that one's a little bit high. Ball and no strike. Now, it'll be interesting to see if Prater decides to take off. That's a swing and a miss for strike one. If Prater decides to see if she can white, swipe second on this one. Ball and a strike with one out and one on. And that one's inside for ball two. So far, Richardson has scattered four hits, and the only run came in early in the first inning when Halen Ayers scored on a single by E.K. Elrod. And that one is a slow roller to the pitcher. She's going to second, and it. she wasn't able to hold on to it. The shortstop tried to move over there and cover the bag, and so score that one an error. Error on the shortstop, and that moves the runner down to second. So the Lady Bruins have something going now because they've got two on with one out. That's the first error of the game. And swing and a miss to Lauren Raines. Lauren 0 for 1 so far. She'll be followed by Mary Patton Redden. That was a heads-up play trying to go to second, but shortstop extended her glove and could not hold on to it. And showing the bunt, and it looked as though the runners were going to try to go on that one. And that was out of the strike zone, a ball and a strike. So they're going to dance around on the bases and see if they can get this infield a little bit disheveled. And they're going to take off this time, and they go back. Two balls and one strike. Each runner was about halfway down to their respective next base. So a two-and-one count with two on and one out, and Rain steps back in. And that one's low. And they go back to second, and she's back in there in plenty of time. And it's now a three ball and one strike count. If she gets on, they'll be loaded for Redden. And Joel Ayers walks back down to his box to give the signals. And the pitch fouled back into the screen. Three balls and two strikes. We've gone full. And you can expect the runners on base will more than likely be moving on this next pitch. And the wind and the pitch. And that's inside for ball four, and we are loaded. So Mary Patton Redden, who grounded out second to first, her first time up. She's in with the bases loaded and only one out. And Richardson ready. She's in a jam. And that one's in there for a strike. No balls in the strike and nowhere to put her. And let's see how patient Redden will be at the plate. If she gets a slow roller down to first base, they'll at least get another run in. And that one dipped on her, and she swung and missed. No balls and two strikes. Halen Ayers will be next. Halen's two for two in the game. And the infield is playing in, trying for a force play at the plate. And that one, she caught looking on that one for strike three, and that is the fourth strikeout for Maggie Richardson. And now she's going to face Halen Ayers, dangerous hitter, with the bases loaded and two out. And let's see if Halen can do it in the clutch. They got Prater, Golden, and Reigns on, and that one, she got a good piece of it, but it went back to the screen. No balls and a strike. They're playing her pretty much straight away in the outfield. Richardson back in, and the wind and the pitch. And it hit the outside corner. No balls and two strikes to the left-hander. Now 
Big pitch coming here for both teams. Richardson winds, and that's high for ball one. One ball, two strikes. Two out. Bases loaded. And the pitch. And that one is sliced back foul going off to the left. So we'll do another one-two pitch. And Halen's rehearsing, trying to straighten it out a bit more. Richardson gets a good spin on her pitches. And the one-two. And that one's right back through the middle for a base hit. And two runs are going to score. And going to third, and they're going to nail her at third, but two runs have scored. Halen Ayers gets a two-run single, and that gives some insurance runs to the Lady Bruins. It is two runs on one, two hits, one error. They also had a walk, and they had one girl left on base. And so at the end of four innings of play, your score is now the Lady Bruins three and the Lady Eagles nothing. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. We've only been at it 45 minutes, and we're already coming to the top half of the fifth inning. It's Sydney Julian, the first baseman. She singled her first time up. They couldn't bring her in, and the Lady Eagles are now trailing three to nothing. The wind and the pitch, it's outside for a ball one. Three runs on six hits for the Lady Bruins. No runs on three hits and an error for the Lady Eagles. And here's the pitch, and it's going to be a bunt. And second baseman comes over to cover it, and they go on that one three to four, nicely rehearsed. You know that they are ready for it when they at the second baseman over there to cover. So that is out number one, and that brings up the second baseman, Jenna Tinsley, who also singled her first time up. Richardson has struck out four in the game and two strikeouts so far for E.K. Elrod, and that one they give chase to it, but that one was out of their reach. So it's no balls and a strike to Tinsley. Lily Barnes, the right fielder, will be next. And this game is just zipping right along after having been delayed by an hour to begin. And that one's outside. Ball and a strike. And one out. And that one's popped straight up foul and out of play. For a minute, it looked like that we might see it curve over in our direction, but we've got an additional angled screen that's right in front of us in our press box, so the odds of us being able to pick one up like we did yesterday in the baseball game, just not very high. And that one's just high. Two balls and two strikes. Tinsley will probably be teeing off if she gets the pitch she wants. And the left-hander delivers, and that's strike three. Caught her looking. Third strikeout now for Jenna Tinsley, uh, for E.K. Elrod, Jenna Tinsley, with the strikeout, and that brings up Lily Barnes, who fanned her first time up. That was back in the second. 
when they had two runners on base with two out. And this would be the fourth one, two, three inning if she's able to get her out here because they were able to get a double play in the fourth. The 0-1 count, and we're in the top of the fifth. And the wind, the pitch, and got it right down in there for strike two. No balls and two strikes with two out and nobody on. And E.K. getting ready, delivers, and that one is going to the shortstop. Halen fires over to first for out number three. So once again, it was no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base at the end. Uh, four and a half innings, it is USJ3, Jackson Christian, nothing. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers, 16B, Conrad Drive, Jackson. Ready for spring cleaning? Don't forget your HVAC system. Somebody needs to clean out all that dust and grime, and that somebody is us. Let McCoy's Heating and Air professionally clean your system so cool air can flow where it needs to go. Schedule now and you can get your cleaning for only $90. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Center fielder Matty Polk stepping in as we begin the bottom half of the fifth inning with the Lady Eagles trailing three to nothing to the Lady Bruins, and Maggie has had a single, and she's flied out to center field. One for two on the day, and she bluffed a bunt, but I don't think she was thinking about that in any stretch of the imagination and was outside for a ball. There's one thing about it. The, <laughs> the allergy dust is definitely all over the place this afternoon. One ball and one strike. Abby Brown, the second baseman, will be next. I read one account that suggested that Jackson was the number four pollen city in America, and I don't disagree with that. The 2-1 count, and went around on that one. Two balls and two strikes. Polk would like to tee off on one like she did in the first inning. And the wind and the pitch. And that one's going right to the pitcher, and she fires to first for out number three. That's out number one. I'm sorry, folks. That sometimes you get delayed, and I'm thankful I've got Paul Schultze over here to my left who – Reminds me if I say something that was incorrect, and that one was. That's only out number one. And the pitch, and that's a high ball that is, and the left fielder does a good job. Long running catch by Maggie Kaufman for out number two. So here comes the pitcher, E.K. Elrod. She had a single in the first inning and struck out in the third. Got two down, nobody on. There's definitely two out right now. And the pitch, that's high for a ball. If she gets on, Taylor Shans, the first baseman, would be next. And that one, she swung and missed and foul tipped it back into the catcher's mitt. Ball and a strike. Richardson delivers outside for ball two. Two and one. EK has done a terrific job on the mound. She struck out three, hasn't walked anybody. 
And that's a high fly ball that's going into shallow left field, and the left fielder gets under it and takes it for out number three. So another quick inning. No runs, no hits, no one left on base, and no errors. And so at the end of five innings, it is the Lady Bruins three and the Lady Eagles nothing. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choice that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. And after making that running catch, here's Maggie Kaufman, the left fielder, standing in. And that one is fouled back to the screen. And my man down here at the end, I thought he might be able to reach out and claw that one, but he just couldn't quite grab it. Now, I don't want him falling out the window. Kaufman flied out to the first baseman her first time up. We're in the sixth. And that one is a lazy fly that is taken by the second baseman. Good job on that one by Abby Brown for out number one. And E.K. Elrod has done an excellent job scattering three hits so far. Here's Kendall Turner, who has flied out twice, once to the catcher and once to the second baseman. And the pitch. Just outside for a ball. But she has worked very, very quickly and has mixed her pitches quite well today. The wind, and that one is just a little easy fly over to the third baseman for out number two. And here comes Trinity Brooks. Trinity has flied out to center field, and she's grounded out third to first. And she's always one that you just breathe easier if you don't see her on the base paths. Very talented young lady. And the pitch. And she was going after it, but it was high. One ball and no strikes. She held up. Shans, Prater, and Golden scheduled up in the sixth for the Lady Bruins. And that one, hard hit ball, but it's going foul. Ball and a strike with two outs. We're already... Five and two-thirds innings into this one, and it's gone by in just 57 minutes. And E.K. steps back in, and the wind, and the pitch. And he called it a strike. Good pitch. <coughs> a ball and two strikes. And this is the one where she wants it to happen. The wind and the pitch, and struck her out. That strikeout number four for E.K. Elrod for out number three. So once again, for the fifth time in the game, no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. We have played five and a half. It's the Lady Bruins three and the Lady Eagles nothing. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Well, this game's been played on fast forward. Lady Bruins looking for a little insurance here in the bottom half of the sixth, and it's Taylor Shans. She has flied out and struck out in her two times up. And that one's hard hit foul. L.K. Prater and Eva Golden are scheduled after her. Richardson has pitched a good game. It's just the Lady Bruins have done a good job. And that one almost sliced, but then it went foul and rolled down the parking lot. No balls and two strikes to Shans. We've only had one error between the two teams in this game in the pitch. And came close to looking at one, but just a little bit outside. One ball and two strikes. And the wind and the pitch. And a hard hit ball. She got around on that one way too quickly. And <laughs> that one almost went to the next county. She straightened that one out. That would have been gone. That was a high fly ball. And that one was on the roof of our locale right here. I don't know if you heard that thud, but that was a strike right on the roof. So we will replay the one and two once again. Taylor is hanging in there very tough. And the neon green goes back to the pitcher. And we'll do the one-two once again with nobody out for the Lady Bruins. And that one is line to the right fielder. She one-hands it. Hard hit ball, but she was playing her with only about two steps to have to come in and take it. So Shans flies out for out number one, and that brings up L.K. Prater. She has a single and scored. That happened back in the fourth inning, and she also struck out in the first. L.K. got that two-run inning started with her single, in which six Lady Bruins went to the plate. That's in there for strike one. And you take nothing away from Maggie Richardson because she's pitched a fine game this afternoon. Oh, inside. One ball and one strike. Golden, the DP, would be next. And the pitch, that one's high for ball two, two and one. Just past the 7 o'clock mark, so we've been at it for an hour and two minutes. And the pitch, that one's fouled back to the top of the screen. Two balls and two strikes. Prater, the third baseman for the Lady Bruins. And the wind of the pitch. Adds high, and we've gone full. Three balls and two strikes. Richardson has only walked one in today's game. And here's the payoff pitch. And got her swinging on that one. And that is her fifth strikeout of the game for out number two. And here comes Eva Golden, your designated hitter. And Eva reached base on an error and scored in that two-run fourth inning. She's also grounded out second to first. And the pitch. That one tap foul back to the screen. No balls and a strike. Robinson, Arnold, and Richardson would be up in the seventh for the Lady Eagles. That one's outside for ball two. Make that ball one. One ball, one strike. And right down in there on the outside corner. 
One ball and two strikes. And let's see what Richardson delivers her on the one-two. And that one's tapped just down the first baseline into the dugout. Still a one-two count. As Sunset is about maybe 25 minutes away. And that one's right on the inside corner for the sixth strikeout for Maggie Richardson. And that does it in the six. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. So we got a hold them, Lady Bruins. We go to the top of the seventh with the score. Lady Bruins three, Lady Eagles nothing. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's. At the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Home furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options too, with professional advice. Major appliances from America's top name brands. Mattresses and bedding accessories. Outdoor living and grilling too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. Well, E.K. Elrod is wanting to try to close the book on this one, and she is facing, and that's a ball to Bailey Robinson, the third baseman, McKinley Arnold, the catcher, and Maggie Richardson, the pitcher. Robinson has flied out to left field and to the third baseman. The wind and the pitch, and that one's going to go right back up the middle. Hal Halen Ayers gave a chase to it but couldn't get to it. So a base hit for Robinson. That's only the fourth hit of the afternoon for the Lady Eagles, but it gets something going here in the seventh. McKinley Arnold, the catcher, she singled but was nailed in a double play in the fourth, and she flied out to the shortstop, Halen Ayers, in the second. So she's one for two. A ball and no strikes. Elrod has not walked anybody, and she struck out four. That's a drive way back there. That ball is gone out of here, and it is a three-to-two game. Right over the center field wall, and Arnold got all of it. She brings in Robinson, and that's a three-to-two game. What a tag by McKinley Arnold. A two-run blast has made this extremely interesting now, three to two. And so Richardson coming up to see if she can add to the rally. She's showing bunt. She's 0 for 2 in the game, struck out in the second, hit into a double play back in the fourth. That one's outside. Ball and no strikes. Next pitch, let's go. The wind and the pitch. And that one's going to the shortstop. Halen fires to first and out number one. Sydney Julian, the first baseman, singled in the second. And she grounded out first baseman to second baseman in a heads-up play back in the fourth inning. Or rather, that was in the fifth inning. So after that long drive, it's a three to two game. And the wind, and that one dipped. Strike one. Jenna Tinsley, the second baseman, would be next. Elrod delivers. And that one's a roller to second, fires easily to first for out number two. And here's Jenna Tinsley, the second baseman, the last hope for the Lady Eagles, trailing now three to two. 
Tinsley singled back in the second, and she was called out on strikes in the fifth. And this would give E.K. a complete game victory if she gets her. And that one's a high foul out of play. No balls and a strike. If she gets on, the right fielder, Lily Barnes, would be next. Close it out. Let's go. E.K. taking her time in the wine. And that one is tapped foul down just in front of the Lady Bruins dugout. So we're down to this one. No balls and two strikes and two out. And the 0-2. Got her, struck, him out, struck her out, and that is game, set, and match. Strikeout number five for E.K. Elrod. It was two runs. On two hits, including that big two-run blast to center field by McKinley Arnold, no errors, and no one left on base. And your final score, it's USJ 3, Jackson Christian 2. We'll be back with the totals in just 60 seconds. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Well, it became a little bit of a thriller toward the end with the big long home run by McKinley Arnold to close the gap to three to two, but clutch pitching as the final three were set down in order by E.K. Elrod and the Lady Bruins come away with a three to two victory. And in hitting, it was Halen Ayers three for three with two RBI. She had three singles. She opened the game with a bunt single and eventually scored the first run in the first inning. And then she brought two more in with her third single of the game back in the fourth. And you look across the board on this, uh, it was a terrific job actually by both pitchers because E.K. Elrod set down the Lady Eagles on five hits. It was a three-hitter until we got into that seventh inning. And for USJ... Uh, they got six hits in the game, and it was a, a terrific job on the other end because uh, Maggie Richardson, uh, she struck out six, as did E.K. Elrod striking out six Lady Eagles. And from the pitching standpoint, 87 pitches were thrown by very efficient game, uh, Jennifer Wheeler's Lady Eagles, and Maggie Richardson threw 87 pitches. Uh, she struck out six, walked only one, and she gave up three earned runs. And then on the other side of the coin for E.K. Elrod, and she had a shutout going until the seventh, and it was six strikeouts and two earned runs. She didn't walk a single batter in the game, and she had five innings during the course of the seven in which uh, she ended up getting three up and three down. And as we mentioned, she struck out six. And so we will give E.K. Elrod, despite giving up that home run late, we'll give E.K. Elrod our player of the game because it was an excellent job of pitching all the way across. Mixed her pitches well and certainly without question uh, with the six strikeouts and not walking anybody, she was tough to hit across the board today until that seventh inning. But then 
in the clutch. She came back. And they had nobody out after the home run, and she set them down with two ground outs and a strikeout and nailed the victory. And the losing pitcher was Maggie Richardson. But, again, effective job of pitching on her part. The game was played in 69 minutes. And once again, your final score, USJ 3, Jackson Christian 2. I'll see you later this week with more of USJ Bruin baseball. But it's time to tell you that the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network and the executive producer of Worthy Road Studios is Paul Schultze, who not only directed the telecast, he was your cameraman as well. Paul, as they say, Paul does it all. And yours truly, Steve Beverly, on the call. And until we're with you again, remember, just stay with us for all of the action on USJ baseball, softball, track, everything. Track's still going on right now. If you want to go elsewhere on the USJ website, go to the track meet that's in progress right now. And until we see you again later this week, so long from the great hub city of West Tennessee. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports, including Union University, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.